Hello, hello. We're doing a little commentary today. Uh, just a little no, no script commentary of what we see. It is a soul shuffle game. A 2.1k rating. Or I think I get 2.1k after this game. Or back to it, should I say. Here I'm giving some orders to my team. So we're basically just gonna analyze any mistakes that I make or any good things that I'm doing. Try to make kind of a point out of them. Help people out who are struggling in solo shuffle. With um, having ideas on how to win and what to do. So here we're just gonna go arms. With maybe swapping on druid, that should be the general idea. We had a pretty good uh, start, demon soul right away. Here I'm waiting for... I think I'm waiting for some cooldowns to drop. Okay, no, I'm trying to CC the healer. Before I go on to a combo. Wait, did the warrior use his... Uh, I'm not using Omnibar, so I'm not sure if the warrior used his cooldowns. I'm kind of holding them right now. Yeah, this is when I'm ready to pop off. Yeah, so basically you always want to try and use your biggest burst to do like an unexpected turn. So usually people in solo shuffle panic at starts. And they will use their cooldowns really early because also your teammate probably is using their offensive cooldowns. So what I like to do is save my hunt uh, combo or like... <clears throat> Save my even like there I saved my full burst, even like essence a break, so something like that is really good. Really, really good. Here we're probably going gonna, gonna go arms again. Yeah, Rogue can die after cooldowns. Here I fucked up, I shouldn't have been typing. Um should have you know definitely went and dealt with the rogue. Made sure he doesn't get no sap, no nothing. Use Glimpse to remove the Tsarm. I'm just bursting the Rogue. Uh, sorry, the Warrior. We both CC the healer in the same time. I kind of fuck up. Um, I used my Fear kind of early there. Something that I'm using um, uh, improved in prison. And I'm just bursting. Trying to stun the healer. That was a bad, I think, idea because I think he was the Ard. Make, make a go on me. So pumping the warrior. We should be... Yeah, just pumping the warrior and waiting to make another CC go. Here I'm a caught off guard. When there's like two disarms, you should be careful how you use your glimpse. Like I used it to get some damage out, but... Saving it for the disarms is pretty big. <coughs> Especially since they have double this arm, yeah. Here we spread our damage and we are gonna, I think, yeah, the rogue dies. I thought the rogue warriors was gonna die. Well, that's a pretty good, like, if you had a really meta composition of Unholy and, uh, of course, uh, Demon Hunters, so... Um, I feel like they had no chance. It took longer than it should have. I don't know if the Death Knight was, like, swapping targets. A lot, I'm not sure. But that definitely took longer than it should have. <clears throat> it's kind of hard, like, this priest... Actually is good when people are just kind of using cooldowns, like, burr, trying to burr, 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 zuck, zuck the game, because disc priests have, like, so many cooldowns. It's really hard to, like, you have to wait for this priest to use all of his cooldowns, and then you can go for, like, full burst. Or stop the rogue go. You should always be trying to stop uh, or delay the rogue go. Like that's like one of the things you can do. I go to CC the healer as I should be. I, I kind of I fuck it up again because I'm used to using the reverse magic, so I don't have improved. Um, I don't have the tainment PVP talent. <clears throat> so that's something you should be careful about. So I'm definitely not being careful here. Here I'm still saving my biggest cooldowns. Whoop! Okay, he vanishes. Really annoying. That is really annoying. We still got the cleave going on. Here again, I should be kind of looking to make a good um, 
like cross CC, make sure I CC the healer and I get like a stun on the kill target. I don't do that, I actually kind of like Ooga Boonga it. Like if the rogue was stunned there, yeah, he might have died, but like we didn't get cross CC. So that's an Ooga Boonga there by me. Always try to make sure you got your stun and everything, you can do cross CC. The cooldowns are similar, but so you should have them on like similar timings. Sometimes, of course, you just gotta stun. So nobody's gonna be angry at you for stunning if you just have to stun. Here, I make a big mistake. So here, I should have 100% trinketed the Cyclone and went in darkness to the warrior. And that could have extended the game. That's a huge, huge mistake by me. I remember this in the moment I was like thinking, <clears throat> do I trinket here, do I trinket here? That's kind of the thing about solo shuffle, you don't have communication, so... Like, you're trying to save your cooldowns, but you also kind of need to just... Yeah, kind of be fast on the trigger, you should not be thinking. Like, as soon as I saw the warrior in trouble, I should have, like, tried to help him. I'm, like, saving my trinket way too long in these games. Because I'm, like, playing them kind of like I'm playing, like, a real match. Here I fucked up again, I didn't- I don't know why I'm not, like, dealing with the rogue. We should be just pumping the warrior. Could be an easy kill. That knight's kinda getting fudged. I don't know, he's wanting- Okay, that's a surprise! I guess the rogue didn't want to press his buttons. So I guess if you're playing rogues, you should just press your defensive buttons and not have that happen to you. I mean, that would be the point of that round. Hold your cloak. Yeah, that, that I did not expect that. Yeah, that was a fast one. Kinda shocked me, I forgot about that one. I filmed this, I think, like two days ago, I'm not sure. Here, I'm trying to let him get in the sap. He gonna get the sap. I jump in so I can get a AoE stun. Perfecto. He killed it before I stun, so that was perfect. I'm pumping the warrior, going for CC on the healer. Warriors are really squishy, so like after his main cooldowns are down, you can just kill them. Here I use my um, meta. I'm trying to bait out. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm trying to bait out his his uh, blades. Oh, he's using it now. Okay, so I'm waiting here. So I, I have him in that door. I'm gonna burst him here, definitely. Doom. Oh yeah. yeah. That's it. Well, basically, yeah, just after his blades are down, it's an easy kill. Arms Warriors, Fury Warriors, too. Just let them use Enraged and re Regeneration, use your Metamorphosis to try to push them to use cooldowns, and that's it. It's even a good tip in, like, 2v2 or, like, even uh, duels, where you just want them to use that cooldown, and after that, you can go for a big hunt uh, Essence Break combo. No healer, healings from the healer, yeah. Played like a monkey, bro. Warrior kind of played like a monkey. I think he loses every game here. Here, um, I was kind of slow again. I let him have the sap on me. At least the goal was stopped. I tried to get an AoE stun here, but I got feared. I should be just pumping the rogue here, because rogue is dead after cooldowns, pretty much, so... Here we're kind of playing PvE badly, I will say that. I should have made sure I had more uh, fury before trying to burst the rogue there. I also did not try to CC the healer yet here. Ooh, dangerous. Okay, and that's the game. Unforge, unforge. Yeah, the warrior was just the, the, low, the weak link, as they would say. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe, and whatever else the YouTubers want you to do.